after evaluating the current state of the program. We believe a change must be made. Tim DeRuiter was fired as Fresno State's football coach Sunday, a move many assume would come at some point this season with the Bulldogs enduring a third straight losing season. Not an easy day. We have informed Coach DeRuiter that he will no longer be our head football coach. Fresno State was just 1-7 this season, winless against FBS competition, and officially eliminated from bowl contention following Saturday's 38-20 loss at Utah State. Athletic Director Jim Bartko, emotional throughout most of the Sunday afternoon news conference, said there had been discussions about letting DeRuiter go as early as last Monday. By Sunday morning, Bartko met with DeRuiter to inform the coach he'd been relieved of his duties. The last two seasons aren't what we aren't what our fans and our, um, our university is, expects. With two years and approximately $3 million guaranteed on DeRuiter's contract still, it was unclear Fresno State could afford to make a coaching change. Turns out Fresno State decided it couldn't afford to keep DeRuiter around any longer. Our commitment to academics and athletics boldly rising together is unwavering. We just felt it was the right time, um, the right time for us to begin the process of a search, also begin the process for letting the coaches and the players you know, have some direction, and um, also to relieve Tim and let him know what's going on also so he has some opportunities. Attendance plummeted to record lows, just a notch over 26,000 this season and roughly 29,000 last season when Fresno State went 3-9. and nine. We need to fill that stadium, win or lose. Bartko, who's in the middle of his second football season at Fresno State, added that his big plan to renovate Bulldog Stadium remains as scheduled, and he encouraged the Red Wave to continue supporting Fresno State. We'll get the fever pitch back to Fresno in the Valley and on the football field. DeRuiter and Fresno State enjoyed instant success when he first came aboard for the start of the 2012 season. DeRuiter's defensive background helped turn around a previously woeful defense. And with quarterback Derek Carr leading the team, the Bulldogs won a share of the 2012 Mountain West title in DeRuiter's first season at Fresno State, the school's first conference championship in 13 years. The next season, DeRuiter, Carr, and the Bulldogs won an outright conference championship and fell just shy of reaching a major bowl game. This week's 1-0 was for the Mountain West Conference Championship. And it was something that from day one, we said that was going to be our number one goal. And but after Carr moved on to the NFL, the shortcomings under DeRuiter started to surface, most notably in developing a quarterback, as Fresno State went through seven quarterbacks since Carr left, as well as Fresno State's struggles to reel in talent or develop those who did sign with the Bulldogs. Trying to jumpstart his program, DeRuiter replaced both of his coordinators after last season, but it seemed to make little impact this year. Quarterback play still looked abysmal at times, and the defense continued to trend in the wrong direction. As the season went on, and I think the stress level um, on the coaches and everything else, what we're going to do, it was better to make a decision now and give us a jump start in the process. Fresno State will begin a national search and could fill the position possibly as soon as 14 days. We'll do what we know is right for this university. Um, you deserve a winner. We want to have a winner. We had a winner with Coach DeRuiter. It was just, now it's just time for a change to move in a different direction.